In this video, we're gonna pit this lithium battery against this AGM battery and see who comes out on top. Hey everybody, AJ here, and welcome back to the Eagle Ray channel where we do all things DIY electric boats. Marine motors, batteries, solar panels, you name it, if it's got volts and it's on a boat, you are in the right place. Today, we are gonna put lithium versus AGM head to head in a battle to the death. We're gonna try and go as apples to apples as possible. We're gonna get on Amazon in a moment. We're gonna buy a lithium, we're gonna buy an AGM. We're gonna try and get one that has the same voltage and same capacity across the board. And then we're gonna run them through capacity tests on the bench here in the studio before we take them out to the lake and see who wins on speed, range, and price. In the Amazon search bar, we're gonna type in 12 volt, 20 amp hour LifePo 4. Now we're looking for the best bargain price on a 20 amp hour or something close to that size. It doesn't have to be exactly 20 amp hours, but it needs to be the same from the lithium to the AGM. And the winner by the long shot is the Lechi 18 amp hour, which is close enough to 20. So now we just need to find an AGM that matches the 18 amp hours on the Lechi. And here it is, it's yet another brand I've never heard of, it's called U+. And we're back in the studio. It took about a week for these batteries to show up, even though it was only a few seconds for you. We got the lithium here, we've got the AGM here, and the first thing we're gonna do is figure out how heavy they are. I don't have a fancy scale that can measure mid-sized objects like a battery, so what I'm gonna do is measure me, and then I'm gonna measure me holding the battery, and then I'm gonna subtract me from the battery. Hey, quit looking at my gut. I'm working on it! <laughs> Sir, you're looking so trim. Have you lost weight? At first glance, it might seem like the AGM is more than twice as heavy as the lithium, but actually, when we dig into the details, we're gonna find it's much worse than that. Lithium is known to be lighter, so no real surprise there, but what about capacity? These both say 18 amp hours, so we're gonna put that to the test. We're gonna see if both of these companies can put their money where their mouth is. Are you ready? It's time to send it. We'll be testing both batteries today with the smallest troller that we happen to have in the studio right now. It's the MotorGuide R3. It's got 30 pounds of thrust. It pulls about 25 amps at full throttle. Right out of the gate, notice how under the exact same load, the lithium battery starts 0.2 volts above 12, where the AGM battery starts a third of a volt below that, even though they're both fully charged right now. Lithium has a higher resting voltage than AGM does, and it sags less under load. So you're always gonna feel a lithium battery feel slightly more powerful than an AGM of the same capacity. And I emphasize same in quotes because even though this one says 18 amp hours and that one says 18 amp hours, you'd think the capacity would be the same, but what we're gonna find is that they're actually worlds apart. There's really only one good thing I can say about AGM, and that's heat management. It stays about 10 degrees cooler than lithium across the board. All batteries suffer from this thing called the Puker effect, but some of them get hit a lot harder than others. To really understand what's happening here, I like to use the analogy of driving a car. Imagine you're heading down the highway, but as you press the gas pedal to the floor, your gas tank shrinks to the size of a pea. That is an unusable car in my opinion. You can feather the pedal to get to your destination, but as soon as you try and go fast, you're gonna run out of gas practically instantly. Now imagine Chevy had this problem and they still told you that their car can do 100 miles per hour. No, it can't, because as soon as you try and floor it, you're gonna run out of gas. But that's how I feel about AGM batteries. See, every AGM battery works exactly that way. They say that it has 18 amp hours, but we're about to find out that it doesn't have anywhere near that. We've only been running for about 20 minutes and this AGM battery is already below 11.5 volts. It's almost a volt below the Lechi at this point. The gap between them is widening. When you get a lead battery toward the end of its discharge curve, it will fall like a stone, and that's what we're seeing right now. When you get past about 11.25 volts, you need to cut it off manually, because lead batteries do not have an automatic cutoff switch like most lithium batteries do. So you're about to see me cut this thing off at 99 watt hours. And that's ridiculous, because this battery is supposed to have 230 watt hours. It didn't even crack 100, and the lithium is still going strong. We're gonna fast forward to the end to see how both of these did. The Lechi promised us 230 watt hours. We actually got 211 watt hours. That's a shortfall of approximately 8%. And that makes sense because even lithium is subject to the Puker effect, just not quite as badly as AGM is. 
On the AGM side, U Plus promised us 216 watt hours, slightly lower than the promise we got from Lechi because AGM rests at a lower voltage than lithium, and so typically on the box of a lithium, you'll see 12.8 volts is what's promised, whereas on an AGM, it'll just say 12 volts. And then we got 99 watt hours. That is a shortfall of 54 percent. So we are going to finish this test just to be fair, but so far these results are pretty insane. This one says 18 amp hours. It gave us 17 amp hours. That's pretty close. This one says 18 amp hours. It gave us 8 amp hours. After watching this, leave me a comment below if you would ever buy an AGM battery ever again. The AGM product pages on Amazon are not to be trusted. It's a little bit different with lithium batteries because lithium is very popular to dissect on YouTube. For every lithium battery you can find on Amazon, you'll probably find somebody doing a teardown video of it on YouTube. Not true with AGM batteries. So you'll find all kinds of lies in AGM product pages. For example, in the U Plus product page, they claim that it's five pounds when it's actually 12 pounds. They claim that it's good for kayak trolling motors. We just saw that it only runs for 20 minutes at full throttle on a kayak trolling motor. That is completely insufficient. And finally, and this is the worst one by far, they say that it can do 270 amps. What? We saw it buckle with 25 amps. That doesn't even make sense. And right next to it, it says in parentheses, 5S. That also doesn't make any sense because if you wire five in series, that doesn't change the amperage at all. That changes the voltage. So if we gave them the benefit of the doubt and we said, well, that's probably a typo. They meant 5P, not 5S. Still, 5P would multiply the amperage rating by five and that still wouldn't be enough to do 270 amps. So this product page is just full of nonsense. Let's give both of these batteries the fair shake they deserve by testing them on a real boat. Are you ready? It's time to send it for real. Guys, I don't think the jury is gonna be out on which battery is gonna win this test. We're out here on the lake in the Yaktoon. We're gonna test both the lithium and the AGM. Same day, same conditions. Let's go. There's the lithium, there's the R3. We're at full power. We saw how far the Lechi got in last week's video, so we're gonna speed through this part in triple time lapse mode. The lychee just gave out, guys. Let's see what we've got here. I'm turning it over. Oh. Yeah. We just got past the turtle grill and the lychee died on us, so we have swapped out for the AGM battery. We're gonna see how far it can get us. I have my doubts that we're gonna get to the London Bridge with this battery, but let's find out. The big difference between lithium versus AGM is the feel of the power curve. When you're running lithium, it just feels like the same amount of power the entire way through the discharge cycle. With an AGM, on the other hand, you can feel every single minute the power is dropping a little bit more and more and more. The voltage sag really becomes obvious toward the end. We're on our way out of the canal and the AGM battery did a lot better than I expected. We're past the London Bridge. It feels like it's on its last leg, so I'm sure it's gonna die any minute now. It's a good thing I remember to bring a spare lithium to get back to the launch ramp. And we're back with the final results. You probably guessed it, the lithium came out ahead by a landslide. Both of these batteries struggled a little bit under 24 amps of continuous load, but the Lechi lithium gave us a total of 1.86 miles and it did so in about 45 minutes. Whereas the U Plus AGM gave us only 0.88 miles, a little bit less than half, and it did it in 23 minutes of length. Just like we expected, the lithium performed more than twice as well as the AGM on every metric except top speed. So top speed, they were pretty similar. The lithium did 2.5 miles per hour on average. The AGM was able to do almost that much. It had some voltage sag throughout bringing it down, so it was 2.3 miles per hour on average. Now the Lechi did 204 watt hours of energy total, and that is quite a bit less than what we got on the bench. We did 211 on the bench. So that's 9% below what the Lechi says on the box. Whereas the U Plus surprised us a little bit. The U Plus did terribly on the test bench, and then it did slightly better than that when we went out on the lake. It did 120 watt hours on the lake, which is 55% of what it says on the box. Now, 
To be honest, 55% of what I paid for is still a ridiculously terrible deal. The AGM performed like a cow in a horse race. I would never ever buy an AGM battery for personal use. Remember, they both say 18 amp hours on the box, but this one costs $58, that one costs $34. And that, you might say, well, this one did a little bit more than twice as well, so you kind of get what you pay for, right? But that is not the full story because the AGM is more than twice as heavy, and the big kicker is one that we can't even measure on the test bench. It's the lifespan. The AGM actually lasts a fifth as many cycles as the lithium. Lithium can do more than 3,000 cycles in good conditions. AGM can do about 500. So when you add up everything apples to apples, what you find is that the price of lithium is actually more than five times better than the price of AGM for the same size. It can be really tricky to compare two different batteries, even if they're apparently the same size, because as you can see, sometimes the chemistry is playing some funny business in the background. But what if they're different sizes? Then they're even harder to compare. So next week, I'm gonna show you guys a trick that you can use to go apples to apples on any battery of any size, no matter how big or small, and you can tell which one's the better value. If you wanna see that, hit the like button, hit subscribe, come to the live stream on Sundays at 2 p.m. Pacific time because I'm still giving away this Milwaukee angle grinder as soon as we reach 1,000 subscribers. The rules are in the description, and remember, this week at some point, set aside some time to get out on the water and enjoy yourself. Until then, folks safe.